family. This is going to be a collective energy read um, for love, of course, um, because I am a love reader. It's what I do. Sometimes I'll do just general collective energy reads, but this is going to be a love read. Um, the energies have been so intense. There's been lots of shifting. And so I wanted to dive right in and see what is going on with the twin flame journey for, you know, the collective and everyone is at different levels in their journey. Before I do that, though, I wanted to read this to you guys. So I bought this book. It's called Set N and Pooh, Book of Anubis, and it's by Bill Duvendak. And, you know, when I felt, I felt guided to buy it when I, you know, finally discovered, you know, if you watched my 7-7 seven, seven video, then you kind of know where Anubis sort of came into my journey. When I was like seven years old, I dreamed of him. And then just recently during the new upgrades, discovered that he was one of my main guides and couldn't understand what a god of death <laughs> had to do with love and I came upon this I'm not even done with the book and you know I'm I'm here in the book and this is way in the back I was just leafing through one day um sort of shuffling through because I felt guided to and I stumbled upon this and it's not even in the chapter that I'm on but I wanted to read it to you so it says heart correspondence and poo which is another word for Anubis, Anpu. Cor sorry for the background noise. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Anpu corresponds to the heart, which may seem ironic because of his Lord of the Dead role. But when you look closer, you find profound truths revealed. To begin with, what is contained in the heart is what is carried on after change called death. This is evidenced by the ancient Egyptian passion play of the weighing of the heart against the feather of truth. Now that has to do with um, mat, or yeah, meh, may, mate, I don't know, M-A-A-T. That's the one that weighs the heart, one second. Okay, sorry about that. And then also has to do with Libra energy. Okay, what is particularly interesting to note is that this is where the Catholic concept of the sacred heart originates we can also infer that this is the root for the popular eros the thanatos relationship that has become popular in recent years cupid okay secondly this tells us that he does in fact correspond to love for it is associated with the heart it is equating love with death, which is quite profound because it tells us love can transcend death. Oh my God. Tell me if that didn't blow your mind because it blew mine. That is what, that is why Anubis being the God of death came to me as a love reader because he very much deals also in matters of the heart. I thought that was incredible. And it left me breathless. And I'm grateful every time something amazing like that pops up in my journey. Because then I know and I know and I know I'm on the right path. There's no doubt. I'm meant to be a love reader. I'm meant to bring twin souls into union. It's what I do, you know? <sighs> All right. Um, we're going to dive right in. So I'm going to pull an Angels and Oracles card first for us collectively. What do those of us on the twin soul, twin flame journey need to know? What is our first card? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. It is always a beautiful journey, isn't it, guys? Okay. Here we go. With all of these um, planets in retrograde, 
the energies have been really oof, right? But, you know, in a good way. All right, we have the Fire Guardian. Perfect. So this card is about igniting your passions, doing what you love. Now, what does this have to do with the Twin Flame journey? Okay, I'm so glad you asked. Basically, doing what you love lights you up. It literally will change your aura and and your energy field so that things are magnetically drawn to you, including your twin flame. Because whenever you do something that you love, aka your passion, your soul purpose, whatever it is that makes your soul ignite, it is going to um, magnetically draw your twin into you because they are naturally going to be drawn in to that fire, to that passion, to that glow that happens when you're in your, <clears throat> you know, when you're in your, your, your element and you're loving what you're doing and you're loving your life and you're assisting, you know, people and, and just expanding your heart consciousness with love, you know, by doing what you love. So, and this is in turn going to draw them right into you like that fire flame. Now, this card is also about expanding your sexuality. So, if you've had um, some desire to sort of expand into different aspects of sexuality, like tantric sex or... Um, I, I have no idea, you know, sacred um, sexuality, um, anything, whatever it is that appeals to you, whatever lights you up sexually, spirit is saying, yes, go down that path because this is going to um, assist you when you are in union with your twin soul in some way or another. Okay, um, we are going to get, let's do an Akashic card <laughs> all right what do our twin souls need to know <laughs> oh man <laughs> y'all almost had the, the whole deck like <laughs> everything was just all right can we get two akashic cards now, for those of you that say, I cannot tap into Akashic Records without permission. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I was taught by my Akashic teacher, Julian Jenkins, you can tap into the Akashic Records as long as it's for the collective. And um, the collective consciousness is not protected because we're all connected. So, oh, so there is a general message of forgiveness that is coming through so for some of you this is going to be oh i love that it's beautiful we have forgiveness and transformation so forgiveness is number 13 which by the way if you guys have been following me from the beginning you know that 13 is my lucky number it's beautiful so there's a collective energy of forgiveness now whether this is you learning to forgive yourself or you um, forgiving your twin soul or your twin flame for any, um, you know, moments of pain or um, imagined, you know, discretions and transgressions or whatever against you, realize that everything that your twin has done to you, you have somehow in some form or fashion done to yourself because they are in fact your mirror. And as much as that hurts to hear, it's true. You have to reach a certain level of vibration, a certain frequency in order to draw in your twin soul. You have to integrate your light, your dark, your divine feminine, your divine masculine, and your inner child, all of those and all of that takes time. I have been on this journey since 2018 and I am still not at that frequency yet to draw in my twin soul. And I said not yet because I continue to do the work and, you know, so, you know, that just goes to show you sometimes it takes a long time and that's okay. Like just continue to do the work, just continue to focus on yourself 
and you know that moment will happen it's it is inevitable if you are continuing on the twin flame journey and doing your work all right and then we have look number 41 transformation so there is massive transformations going on right now in the in the collective energy field for those of you that are on the twin flame journey and if you are watching this video then you are we are all going through a massive transformation. Can you feel the shift in the air? Can you feel the energy shift in the air? Can you feel the excitement brewing, the anticipation of it all, that we're on the verge of something huge? And especially for the twin flames, you know, those that have been waiting on their union so that they can um, collectively change the world with, you know, the pure essence of love. Our time is coming. And it's because of this. So there's a, a collective transformation going on right now. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are going to get a... Did I already get one of these cards? No, I didn't. We're going to do a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And then we're going to get some tarot. <laughs> Such beautiful energies. All right. All of these planets going into retrograde are not in vain. They have done so because we need this energy movement. We need this kick in the ass, so to speak, in order to find our way back to ourselves. Okay. What do we need to know? I just recorded a reading for my Etsy channel. The very first reading I've done, for, it was just 12.02 on my camera um, time. My very first reading for my Etsy shop, okay? And it's going to be available for purchase um, as soon as I upload it, right? And post it. But it's going to be called The Sacred Union because let me tell you, the stuff... Whoever, I'm not even going to tell you the beautiful things that came out in that reading, but if you're drawn in by the title, I think I'm going to call it the Sacred Union, but I'm not sure. Um, but if the title draws you in, then it's definitely for you. It The energy was, I'm still blushing from it. It was just a beautiful reading. All right, so we have the Eagle King. So this is about taking a step back. It's number 12 added up and it's three it's about taking a step back we already got one of these cards i forgot we had the the passion but spirit must have wanted me to, to get more or else i wouldn't have felt guided to use this deck again um this is about taking a step back and looking at the big picture now why is it that you want to get in a twin flame union is it because you want to just be in this romantic relationship or is it because you you and your twin you want you and your twin to change the world what is your reasoning for wanting to be in a twin flame union okay because if it's if it's for the wrong reasons then that's just gonna that's just gonna delay it even further you have to look at the big picture right you have to say you want what's best for the collective and if that means you can better assist the collective when you're in union with your twin soul then yes, that is going to help you to get there much faster, going in there with a selfless kind of mission, right? Also, you are being asked to ask your angels for assistance. This is the card of angelic help. Now, um, I'm getting this message that some of you will indeed be going outside and finding feathers, which will be a sign that your angels are with you and they're giving you guidance. And another thing is your angels cannot help you unless you um, ask them for assistance. So you have to verbally say, guardian angels, angels, give me some guidance in regards to my twin flame journey and they will open that pathway for you. Okay. We have the fire prince number 40. It says optimism and aggression. So you're optimistically, optimistically aggressive. <laughs> That's seriously. It's so it's funny because it's like 
feels like two opposite ends of the spectrum, optimism and aggression, right? But this is about being aggressively optimistic. So just staying happy through all of these six planets and retrograde stay super duper focused on your happiness and your joy and your passions and your fire and you know your bliss because doing that is going to bring you into divine union faster okay that's number 40 and it is an angel number so this is a message from your angels if you were asking for guidance look number 40 is four right if four and zero is four Four is an angel number. It is a number of um, guardian angels, okay? So, and this one's, you know, 12. Number three, it's an ascended master number. So, you know, do you think that the ascended masters are going to dress like a yogi or wear, uh, you know, Buddhist outfits? No, the ascended masters are hitting right in plain view. They're the single moms like me guiding you they're the ones that are struggling that are living in poverty consciousness and lack consciousness you want to know why because we are the ones going through these lessons learning them to bring them to you and making those sacrifices so we can teach you what we know we are the ascended masters and i'm not saying that to be full of ego or whatever but most of the ascended masters that you know you are, are are complete people are completely unaware of them it's not the big ones that you know are really popular on youtube you know and, and i won't say any names but or the the ones that have a bunch of followers on instagram do you really think spirit is gonna give those people um a platform right to wake up the collective those that are going to get that platform are going to be um, the ones that don't have a lot of followers that people don't watch because spirit chooses a select few to get these messages, to get these collective messages, right? They only picked a select few that are going to lead this journey of consciousness and this collective consciousness shift. It's not for everybody because not everybody is going to have the courage to do the work. So if you're finding my channel and I'm not wildly popular, it's because you are here. Hold on one second. So if you are finding my channel and, you know, other channels that are not wildly popular yet, it's because um, you, you have been chosen. You have been chosen to walk a harder path. I can guarantee that. But I also can guarantee it will be worth it. Okay, it'll be worth it because this is going to be the fast track way to get to your twin flame union. Okay, if you found me, you're on the fast track to your union. It is the fastest path there. I can guarantee from point A to point B. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to get into some, we're going to get some tarot going. I will do one. Yeah, let's do it. One grace card for you and then we're going to get into some tarot. One second, actually. All right, sorry about that, guys. It was a lot of background noise. My children acting crazy and stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get one grace card, and then we're going to go into some tarot and see if we can figure out where we are on our journey. And I say we because this is a collective energy read, so it's we, me and you included, all of us, all of you watching this video. All right, look at that. The first card that I picked is love. It says, share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression of grace. So, you know, and then look at the next card, choice. For every action, there's a reaction. Choose wisely. So what are you going to do? Are you going to choose to continue to be love? To be love? Are you going to continue to choose to be love? Or are you going to close your heart? Are you going to say, oh, I'm closing that door. You know, I'm scared. I'm fearful. I don't want to take that leap of faith, right? Or are you going to continue to choose to be love? You know, it's up to you. Are you going to pour from that cup endlessly? Just keep pouring out love and pouring out love. 
whether or not someone accepts your love has nothing to do with you. That has to do with them. If you pour love out on someone and they are too, you know, up their ass, <laughs> up their, see, <laughs> we are equally spiritual and equally, <laughs> equally ghetto and equally bouge and all of that. We're all sides of the spectrum. But if you pour out love consistently, to everyone that you meet, and someone does not accept that, then that has nothing to do with you. Let me tell you, you beautiful soul, it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with their insecurities and their inability to open their heart and to see what's in front of them, okay? If you consistently pour out love to people and they reject it, it is because some part of themselves doesn't feel good enough and they are rejecting their own self and their own love. So continue to pour out love and know that if that person does not accept it, then they are just not there yet. They're not worthy at that time. So find someone else to continue to pour love on. Just continue to pour out love. And they might get there and they might not. And you have the choice whether or not to continue to pour love on them or to find someone else to pour love on who's going to, to um, recognize and return that love because they realize that you are a gem because you are. Boom. All right. So we're going to do some tarot. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling a bunch of cards like I did for my Etsy reading. I'm just going to get them all out and I'm going to keep this reading under 30 minutes. So we're at 21. So we're going to, whatever you can get out for us, Spirit, within the next 10 minutes. Oh, shoot, it's dropped my deck. I dropped my deck. Did I pick it out? Did I pick up all the cards? I think so. All right. So whatever you can get out with us, get out for us within the next 10 minutes, Spirit. Let us know what we need to know. Where, where, where are we? Where are the twin souls collectively on their, on their journey? Now, for those of you that are finding this reading, it is because um, you have interacted with me on more than one occasion. So I, those of you that comment and those of you who um, hit hit the like or whatever any any way that you interact with me whether you talk to me on Instagram and you know who you are then the this reading is going to be for you because your energy field has exchanged with mine more often than anyone else's so that's just how it works anytime you interact with anyone energy is exchanged energy is an exchange right two people exchanging energy and so I pick up on your energy you pick up on mine so the more you interact with me and comment on my videos and stuff, the more I will pick up on your energy because that is a form of energy exchange too as well. Six of Wands. It's so hot in here. I have no blush on and look at how red my cheeks are. My cheeks are naturally this red. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Wow. Yup. See? We're shifting into this um, energy of we know what we deserve. We've been through the shit. We now know what we deserve. We're not accepting any bullshit or any crumbs or any, you know, falses. We're not. Look it. We, we have we have options. Don't think that we don't have options. We got seven of cups, six of wands, judgment. We now know thyself. We now know thyself. We know thy self-worth. Okay. So while other people were dilly dallying and, you know, rejecting us and not seeing our worth, we continued to say, I see my worth. Whether you see it or not doesn't matter. I know my worth. And I know I'm a catch. And they, other people were taking their time or they were dilly dallying. And they weren't sure and they were this and they were that and they were wishy-washy and all of those things. Yes, all of those things served us well because now we know. <laughs> now we know 
we choose who we choose. We choose who chooses us and we choose ourselves. And so therefore in choosing ourselves, when you choose us, it's because we've chose us. Because we choose ourselves and we choose love. Okay, we've done the work. See, look at that. We got, oh, there's so many sixes in here. So collective energy of soul family, of finding your tribe, of letting go of all of those toxic ones that didn't fit into the soul tribe, right? Cutting people off doesn't mean that you don't that you don't love them. You can love them from afar, but toxic is toxic. See, look at that. Letting go of the toxic ones, the drama llamas. We're saying goodbye to that. We're saying, nope, I choose me. I choose my peace. I know my worth. Look, judgment. I've released my soul. My soul is free. It's free. I know thyself. I've released my soul and my soul knows everything that it needs. And because you follow your soul's calling, you are sparkling like a motherfucker. Keep doing it. I'm going to have to parental advisor this one <laughs> because the cuss word is coming out of this one. Let me tell you. Uh... That's so funny. Wow. See? While everything was stagnant, we kept hope alive. We kept waiting and thinking and staying positive and, and taking care of ourselves and focusing on ourselves focusing on our businesses and focusing on living our best life. We never gave up hope and believing that, you know, good things were happening. Even though, you know, there was those around us being wishy-washy. Oh, I'm not sure if I want to be with you. Oh, I, I'm not sure if I want to be in a relationship. They all, they, they thought they had options, right? They were, they thought they had plenty of options and they treated you like an option. A lot of, I'm seeing a lot of that come up over and over again in collective reads all over, not just in my videos, in other people's videos. So, you know, a lot of the divine masculines, and this is not about gender, but the divine masculine energies, right? Thought that they had options. And so they tried to keep their options open and they missed the bus with you because they thought that you were just an option. They didn't see your, they didn't see your star shine, right? They didn't see your soul shine, but they will, <laughs> but they will. And is it going to come too late? For a lot of them, yes. But the divine masculines have to go through their lessons just like we do. They have to feel like they've lost you when you're gone in order to step up. They have to have that courage, right? Wow. And so the divine, divine feminines have been doing some major manifesting. They have been manifesting their best life in right now. Amazing. So for some, there's been not a lot of movement. There's been a lot of sort of pausing. And that's because there's been a moment of needing to focus on yourself, to recalibrate, to rebalance, to manifest. For some of you, you've been focusing on moving, um, traveling, finding housing. I see that with the Ten of Wands. It's a lot of like moving, um, traveling, searching, okay? So that's showing up as the Divine Feminine energy. The Divine Masculine energy, however, has been dealing with a lot of chaos and a lot of um, indecision,
All right, let's get some more cards for the Divine Masculine. What do we need to know? Let's get two cards for the Divine Masculine. Wow, yes. See, so one more card for the Divine Masculine energy, please. So the Divine Masculine, wow, has... So the first thing that when I ask for a card for the Divine Masculine, and it's already past 30 minutes, <laughs> but we need to keep going because this is a good reading. They have had this. It's a tower moment. And these tower moments have made them realize how much they want you and how much they need you and how much they miss you and the presence of you in their life. They saw you as an option. Okay? They didn't see you as the one. They saw you as an option. And they tried to keep their, their options open. And because of that, they, they went through this period where they weren't true to their soul, right? There was a lot of chaos in their world. And something happened. There was a tower moment. And then they realized that they felt really alone without your energy field around them, right? And for a lot of them, that's going to be the catalyst which brings them back. Look at that. They're running. They're running to try to, to try to save and salvage what they feel like they've lost. Right? They spent so much time trying to fight off their soul's calling to you. To you, Divine Feminine. And in the meantime, you Divine Feminines were working on yourselves. Look at this. You were learning to manifest. You were making travel plans. You were focusing on yourself. You were cutting ties with toxic people. You were following your soul's calling. Even though you felt like it, there was this. It was a suspension of love. A non-existence of love. You never stopped loving yourself. Okay? But a lot of the Divine Masculines are indeed now doing the work. Look at this, Nine of Pentacles. They're putting in the work. All right, let's get two more cards as a final outcome, please. A lot of the Divine Masculines focused on their work. And yes, they have... They have built up their financial empire, but a lot of them are feeling it's it's nothing if they don't have you, right? See, look, four of cups, feeling bored, feeling unsatisfied, looking at those cups and going, eh, yes, I have, I have these cups, but do I want them? Yeah, do I want it? They're not satisfied with what they've created because there's something missing and that something missing is you. All right, let's get one more card, please. All right, so we have five of cups. We're not going to end on a five of cups. The magician. Wow. All right. So I see for you divine feminines, still a lot of focusing on yourself, a lot of letting go of things that are no longer serving you. There's a feeling of I sort of let go of a lot of things that I thought I wanted and now I'm not sure if I want them anymore, right? So there's a collective energy of, I really thought I wanted this thing, but now I'm not so sure. There's a, a feeling of hesitation. There's a feeling of, well, look, I had all my hopes on this one thing, right? I had all of these beautiful cups. And now I'm looking at this one cup going, I'm not sure if... If that's what I want anymore. She's let go of so much. That now it's like. She's not afraid of detaching. She's not afraid to walk her journey alone. 
And look, she's not afraid also to be successful on her own. And look, all of, all of this energy, this energy of not giving up hope, focusing on yourself, learning to manifest, divine feminine, even though there was no movement, right, in your love life, look, all of these beautiful, look at all of this beautiful things that you have accomplished. Look at letting go, learning your lessons, manifesting, public recognition, okay, of love. This is a public declaration of love as well. So, and then this, the magician. You are manifesting your perfect person. So whether or not it was this person or these people that didn't see your worth, okay? For some of them, yes, they're going to have this tower moment. They're going to try to make their way back to you because they saw you as an option and you weren't. You were the one and they didn't see it, right? And for some of you, when that person comes back, you might not want that person. Maybe you thought you wanted that person and then you decided maybe these other cups look look better than the ones, better than the one you had, right? She's contemplating. She's thinking. She's got her foot in the bowl. She's like, hmm, maybe I don't want that cup anymore. You know, she doesn't seem too worried about the cups behind her. She's focused on this cup right now. This cup that she's manifested, okay? This, here's what I see. A lot of the divine masculines are, are going to make their way back. Look, this is the energy. It's, they're coming back, right? They've done a lot of fighting with themselves. They had these tower moments, right? They're going to make their way back. And for some of you, it'll be new ones. For some of you, it'll be old ones. And in the end, at the end of the day, you get to be the one to decide who gets the Holy Grail. And the Holy Grail is you. Because when this energy hits, when this tower moment hits, when this tower moment hits, and they make their word back going, wait, I, I think I might have possibly made a mistake and give you that public declaration of love and say, it was just 37, 37 on my camera. I may have made a mistake and I want to love you and I want to do it publicly. <clears throat> you get to decide. This is your manifestation, okay? This is your manifestation. So this reading, I feel like, is definitely geared towards the divine feminine energies. We're going to get one more card as a final outcome and we're going to be done. Give us something good, Spirit. What do we need to know? Last card. This reading has gotten way too long. Last card. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Page of Wands. So there you go. Forward movements. Things happening very quickly. Look at. She's joyful. She's happy. She's playful. She's living her best life. She is in bliss. She has learned her lessons and she is happy with what she has learned. Either way, no matter what happens, this divine feminine is going to be joyful. I'm going to call this reading joyful. All right. I love y'all. I hope you enjoyed this reading. So I did put a reading on my Etsy, in my Etsy shop. Okay. And it's going to be available for purchase half of the price of my regular readings so my regular readings are 130 so half of that you know what i might i may just even make them i'm thinking i may put them up for 2222 because that is my number of balance and that was the initial number that spirit first gave me so it's a little bit it's a little bit cheaper than the half of 130 which what is the half of 130 what is that 60 Three? I don't know. I'm I'm not a math whiz. But anyways, so I think I think honestly I'm gonna go with the first number that Spirit gave me, 2222. That way I can reach a broader audience as well and still support myself financially and my children. So for those of you that feel guided to purchase that reading, 
Um, it's going to be called The Sacred Union, and I'm not going to give you any hints other than that. But if the title is drawing you in, then most likely it's for you. Um, and, you know, that way you can support your journey and also support me and my um, small family. So I'm a single mom of three kids, so I, you know, I appreciate you guys' support. And, you know, we have this beautiful divine energy exchange where I help you. You help me. We're helping each other. On, I'm on the twin flame journey too, so I understand. All right. I love you so much. So if you feel so guided, my Etsy shop is, shop is always linked below, and you can go ahead and purchase that reading for 2222. I'm going to start uploading more to my Etsy shop. So if they appeal to you, then, you know, you all you got to do is you pay for it, and I will send it to you right away. It will be an unlisted YouTube link, um, so nobody will have access to it but you. Um, private unlisted YouTube link, but you can watch as many times as you want. All right. I love you.